Welcome to another Treasures for Life Ministry Herbal Focus. Today's herb that I'll be focusing on is the vervine. And this is what the vervine looks like. It has some purple flowers on it growing right here in the middle on that long stem. And we have some leaves here that have rugged edges as well. Now the vervine is a beautiful herb that has a lot of healing properties. It is good for headaches. It is helpful to calm the nerves for those who are suffering from insomnia. It can be very helpful in that condition. It protects your nerve cells. Um, it's good for anxiety for those who are suffering from convulsions which is fits um, those who are feeling depressed it helps to lift the mood it is also a plant or herb that you can use for cancer it it has anti-tumor effect and it is also good for your digestive system it helps to calm the stomach and promote healing it is good for respiratory conditions such as your colds, your flus, um, pneumonia, etc. It is good for urinary tract infections. And you can use this plant as a tonic to help to give your immune system a little boost. And it also is a plant that can be helpful for your circulation issues. So it improves circulation. It is good for rheumatism. It can be used as a wound healer. It is good for ab abscesses, for burns, and you can use it as a gargle for your mouth as it helps to support, support your gum health. And it is a good herb to help for those who have arthritic conditions, for those arthritis. It helps with your joint pains and inflammation and your gout so it is a good plant to have on hand this plant is also very good for jaundice and it works as a diuretic good for your kidney stones and it is a plant that can assist you in your heart health regime to help your heart supports your heart health it helps to slow down diarrhea if you're experiencing diarrhea and uh, you can use the leaves to treat an ear infection. So you just fold the leaves together. You can add some warm water to it, remove or quail it. Remove if you're just a little warm water to just break up um, the healing properties from the leaves and then you can fold it into a piece of gauze or paper towel and then you attach it to your ear fold it inside and put it on the ear to help to relieve your ear infection um, and drinking it will also help it, the root is also used to treat tonsillitis and uh, you can use a whole plant for those who are suffering from abdominal pain and this plant is high in vitamin K so it is good for blood clotting so let me show you another vervine we have a few here growing together with a few other herbs and let me just show you this one is called the Santa Maria fever few this one is a Spanish needle, just to show you a, full, a few. And we have a little Kalaloo growing here, right? Wild Kalaloo. So there you have more vervine. So thank you for watching another Treasures for Life Ministry Herbal Focus. Be blessed. And uh, oh, there's another one too. There is the Shemi Maka. Let me touch it and show you. Shame you late, shame maka. When you touch it, it closes in. There it is. There it is. So, thank you again for watching another Treasures for Life ministry.
Be blessed and remember Marinata, Jesus is coming soon.